hello everybody and welcome to technology layer in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to record your Android screen into a video there are different methods to record your Android screen there are different apps to record your Android screen but to use those apps you need to have your Android device rooted I'll show you a method where you where you don't need to root your Android device so let's see how to record the android screen without rooting your phone so for this we'll use an android adb the adb is the android debugging bridge so you need to have the android sdk on your pc to run the adb service and to install the android sdk you need to have java development kit installed so this is the link from where you can download the java development kit just the jdk i'll place this link in the description of the video so just go and download the jdk and just double click the executable and follow the on screen instructions to install the jdk once the jdk is installed you need to go to the this link i'll place this link also in the description of the video just download the android sdk just click on this download eclipse ADT so this will download your Android SDK it's a zip file so once you down, download the Android SDK you'll get this zip file just right click on this and click on extract here so once you extract this you'll get get an ADT bundle folder so just double click on this folder click on SDK click on platform tools and here you can find your ADP ex ADB executable so what you need to do is you need to open your command prompt now and you need to go to this path to use this ADB service so what I'll do is I'll create a shortcut of the command prompt on the desktop and I'll add this path to the command prompt so that whenever you open the command prompt it will open in this folder So I'll add the command prompt and I'll copy this path and go to the properties and in the start in section I'll remove this and I'll add this platform tools folder. I'll click on apply and click on open. So just you need to open it first I'll increase the font so that we could see it properly and the default it's okay so just double click this this will open your command prompt and here you can see that your path is in the platform tools the unzipped folder where you have kept your Android SDK so the next very important step is you need to connect your Android phone using a USB cable to your PC and once you have connected your Android phone to your PC there are uh, some steps you need to follow on your mobile phone so let's see what are those steps you need to follow on your mobile phones to change the settings you need to enable the USB debugging mode from your Android phone so let's check that out so just go to the settings in the settings scroll down and go to developer options and check this developer options it's already selected in my mobile and go to USB debugging and also enabled it it's also enabled on my mobile depending upon the make of your mobile phone your screen UI may change but you'll have developer options as well as USB debugging on your phone So once you have done the settings and once we have connected your mobile phone through a USB cable to your PC uh, if you're connecting it for the first time using the USB debugging mode then it will prompt you for the permissions on your phone just allow your PC to connect through a USB debugging mode and once it is connected you can type in this command ADB space devices to check the connectivity so here you can see a device my phone is already connected so now what we'll do is we'll type a command to record your Android screen 
So the command to record the Android skin is ADB space shell space screen record space the path where you want to save the file. It's SD card and the name of the file. I'll give it demo dot mp4. So this is the command adb space shell space screen record the path and the file. So once you hit enter your phone will start recording. Now we'll go to the phone and do a screen record. So once you're done with this what you need to do is just you need to press ctrl C. So once you press ctrl C your recording will be stopped. So now let me show you where the where the recorded file is saved. So I'll go to the explorer. So this is the demo file which we have saved. This is the demo .mp4 so you can play this file and you can check the screen record so in this way you can record your android screen into a video so once you enter that command it will start recording and once you're finished with this you can just press ctrl c there are many options we can which you can use so for the screen recording options so you can type in so this will give you the options you can select the size you can select the bitrate you can select the time limit of the video you can also rotate the video you can this is the help option and this says that the recording continues until control C is hit or the time is reached so if you define 100 seconds it will go to 100 seconds and it will stop so in this way you record the android screen using the android debugging bridge i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing please don't forget to subscribe my channel technology layer on youtube and you can also visit my facebook page technology layer and like that page for the latest updates tips tutorials on android windows linux 